Welcome to Chemistry 1B's first video example. This is the example that we're going to be working with, where we have a ball bearing, which is just a steel ball, at uh, 260 degrees C, dropped into a cup of water. The water gets hot from 25 degrees C to 37.3 degrees C. And we're asked to calculate the heat capacity of the ball, given the heat capacity of the water. First thing we need to formulate in our minds is that the heat lost by the ball is going to equal the heat gained by the water. And remember, heat lost is negative, heat gained is positive. We can determine the temperature change of the water, knowing that it's going from 27.25 degrees sorry, to 37.3. So the temperature difference is a positive temperature difference of 12.3 degrees C. And we can then determine the heat gained by the water using the equation that you're familiar with. Q is equal to C times delta T. And we calculate the heat of um, the water, heat gained by the water. All right. <clears throat> to continue, we then determine how much is heat is lost by the ball. Okay, and remember our equation that says the heat gained by the water is equal to the heat lost by the ball. So therefore, the heat lost is just the negative value of the heat that we calculated in the previous slide. We then can determine the temperature change of the um, ball bearing, where we know the initial and final temperatures uh, as given. So the temperature change can be calculated to be negative 2 to 2.7 degrees. And a negative temperature change is obviously allowed because this is a heat loss, remember. And we can then calculate the heat capacity of the ball bearing using the same equation, just rearranged. So we have the heat that we've calculated and the temperature difference. And we can work out the final value of the heat capacity of the ball.